Hello and welcome to Monday. My goodness, it has been um, a very eventful Monday. So I woke up and there was still no news about baby Sussex. Then I had a shower. By the time I got out of the shower, there was news that Megan had gone into labour. Then, as I did a live chat, it all emerged, obviously, that baby was born and that baby was a boy. Baby Sussex is a boy, as we now know. Seven pounds, three ounces and all the rest of it. So if you want to watch my live reaction to the news, go check out that video. Um, by the time you're watching this, we will already have seen Baby Sussex and we will know the name of Baby Sussex. I, at this point in the vlog, have no idea... Um, how baby was born, whether it was a c-section or natural birth, or whether um, baby was born in hospital or at a home birth, although I am thinking that it was more likely to be a home birth. But anyway, um, so yes, so all my plans have been thrown out of the window for today. I am now not going to go to the gym, uh, but I am on the car park because I need to get some lunch. So I'm going to go home once I've got my lunch, have lunch, and then I'm going to make a few more videos on all of the official announcements. So Yes, it's busy, busy, busy. Uh, but yes, baby is here. I'm so happy. Um, congratulations to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on your bundle of baby boy joy. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Molly has just been drinking from the bird bath. Let's follow her around. She's like a panther. Where are you going, little Miss Panther? Oh, can you hear the birds? <laughs> Where are you going, Miss Molly? Where are you off to? Hello. Good girl. Hello, sweetie. Now, shall we show people the garden? I think we should. Like I say, it is Tuesday morning, and, um, yes, yeah, let's, let's just have a look, shall we? So let me just, first of all, sit down in my seat and show you what I can see. So there is my table with my cup. There we have Molly, next to the roses, and we still have the bluebells going strong. Yes, everything's still looking very good. Um, shall we do a close-up on the roses, Molly? Come on, let's. So here we go, look. Wow, okay, so Anne Boleyn is doing very, very well. She is definitely not a bare-rooted lady right now, is she? Um, William and Catherine are doing good as well. Lots of, lots of new shoots on William and Catherine. And as for Princess Anne, my goodness, look, look, she is going strong. She is one no-nonsense rose. Look at this, it's reaching out, it's like her arm. It's like she's going to throw a bottle at a ship to christen it. Um, way to go, Princess Anne. And hello, little Molly, Molly, Molly. Good girl, aren't you sweet, yes. Yeah. Yes, so there we go. Um, that is, oh, you can see a tail. <laughs> that is the garden on Tuesday. Hello, so I've just taken delivery of two more of my slimline conifers, my uh, cypress trees. So I'm just going to do a time lapse and open them up. And there you go, you will see. Okay, I've just got them open. Um, I think they've sent me the wrong size because there's two different sizes, the tall, taller ones and the slightly smaller ones. They've sent me 1.2 to 1.4 metres tall. Which, see, I just did a repeat order. So let me see. Um, where's my little ruler? Oh, anyway, so I know this isn't... This isn't exactly scientific, but it is an old ruler, so let's just see. Um, that's 30, uh, 90, 120. Um, yes, that is what I've ordered, <laughs> actually. They just look a bit smaller compared to the other ones. They look a lot smaller. Um, okay, I need to go back to Amazon and check to see if... In the original order, I actually ordered taller, but I didn't. I don't think so. I think this was. I think this was the maximum. The tallest height. I think. I'll go. I will go find out. So I've just held them up against my other ones, which I planted, and they are definitely probably about that much smaller, which isn't a lot. I mean, 
they will grow and I didn't pay a lot of money for this lot I paid 25 UK pounds or roundabouts for two of them which is actually really really good value they will grow I will plant them they will grow it's fine um, whatever um, I did want them to be a little bit initially taller but whatever they are fine they will do hello um, I am really excited because something came to my door which um, I wasn't really expecting and uh, this is it it's a package and it's like Fort Knox it is gaffer taped up uh, to to the eighth degree it is like Fort Knox it's like trying to get into the Tower of London after the ceremony of the keys um, it's impossible so I've just I've just opened it and I was like oh okay this is not the the gym equipment that I was expecting it's obviously something pink and really amazing that I must open on camera. Um, so here we go. Look, we have one pink box which says uh, S-O-M-E-E-T, Summit, and it has a crown on it. And there is some Chinese writing, or Japanese or Chinese writing on the, um, on the, on the outside. So without further ado, I'm, I have no idea what, what this even is. So let's see if we can get it out first of all, um, and then we'll see. The only thing I could think it possibly could be Oh, there's some stickers that came with it. I have no idea what the purpose of the stickers are. Uh, it's like decoupage stickers. I could use. I could actually put these on my box that I'm making. Okay, I could use those. Uh, that's nice in itself. Um, so yeah, nothing else in the box. Just some bubble wrap. Um, the only thing I think it could be, although it's come really, really quick, which I wasn't expecting, is that um, the Royal Look for Less, which is a company which does um, replica royal jewels. Uh, contacted me and said that one of my viewers had requested something to send to my PO box address and could they could they send it to my home address rather than my PO box address just to save on on something or other so I said yes but that was only a few days ago so um, I wasn't expecting anything so quick so that's the only thing I could think it is but the box has like a little slant on it with a a pull so I'm gonna pull and see, um, does that mean, does that do anything? No, I'm just gonna lift it in case I break anything. So look, what is inside? I have no idea. Oh, the box is beautiful. It's got, like, oh, I see. So the ribbon is like a little, it, it's a holder. It, ho it stops the lid from, from shutting. Um, oh my goodness, bubble wrap. <laughs> By the way, I have not seen a note to say who this is from. So if this is from you, um, first of all, thank you so, so much and please make yourself known so that I can thank you personally. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> I see jewels. Um, I think I know, is this a replica? This is what I can, let me show you what I can see. Um, I can only see the back of it. Is this a replica aquamarine tiara that the queen wears? I think it might be. Oh, oh my goodness. It is. I'm sh it is. I'm sure it is. Um, oh, wow, it is. It's the aquamarine tiara. Look. Oh, my goodness, look. Oh, sparkly, sparkly. Oh, we're loving this. Let's just check for any loose stones. Sometimes, occasionally, we have a loose stone. Uh, no, I think we're okay. Um, but if you do get a loose stone from any of these, a little bit of super glue, get a pair of tweezers and just stick them back on, um, and then it's fine. But no, I think we're we're good. <clears throat> so yes, I think you can find this on the Royal Look for Less dot com. Uh, wow! Oh, oh my goodness! Look! Oh, what a beauty! That is a beauty. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. Now, I may have to just slightly bend back um, these, these little hooks, just so it fits on my head. But that's okay, they bend. And then obviously I will add my elastic, which I normally do, but look. Okay, yeah, it does need bending back, but oh, wow, wow. Look at that is just, Fabulous. Okay, let me just see if I can bend it back straight away. Hang on. 
That's fine. No, the stones are held in my clips. I thought something was coming off and I'm like, no. Um, okay, let's just see if I can just bend that back slightly. Oh, th that's easy. Okay, it's easy, easy, but easy to bend back. There you go. I've just made it wider. So there you go. And then that will fit on my head perfectly. Yeah, that's fine. With the elastic as well, perfect. Um, wow, look at that. That is just... That is something, oh my good, yes, yeah, that makes all the difference, just bending it back slightly to alter it to, to your head size. Um, wow, the aquamarine tiara, I am, I am so happy. Um, who are you? Who are you that's bought me this? Thank you. Um, you must make yourself known. There was some information that came with it, but I, I, I don't think it says who. Um, let me just go and get it and see again. Okay, so I've got the little um, slip. Now, I'm, I'm looking. I looked before and I couldn't see, um, like, a person's name. It mentions... Uh, no. I mean, it's come from China. So the writing I saw on it was, was Chinese. So it's, it's definitely come, come from China. Um, it only mentions a Mr. Huang. Now, I don't know if Mr. Huang is from the company that manufactures it, that sent it to me, or whether Mr. Huang is the person that's bought it. I don't know. Um, just please let me know. I'm, just, I'm looking for, um, for anyone's name and I just can't. Yeah, I mean, if it is you, Mr. Huang, thank you. Of course, thank you. Um, no, I, I can't see anyone else on here. Okay, so we're going to tentatively say thank you to Mr. Huang. Uh, but of course, if it is you that has bought it me, then just thank you. Just know that I am really, really happy with it. And thank you. What a spectacular tiara to add to my collection. So thank you so, so much. Mwah! Hello. So it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 8th of May 2019. I haven't even done my hair. I've just got up. This is bed hair. I've got my cup of coffee. Um, today is the day, people. Today is the day when Baby Sussex makes his appearance. Um, we don't know at the moment if we're going to get a baby name or even any confirmation on titles, but Harry and Meghan are going to come out and about. Um, we think, well, it, as you can see, it's wet. So it definitely won't be an outside photo call. Um, I'm thinking inside. At the moment, I have no idea what time this is happening. It's currently about 10.30 a.m. in the UK. I've checked all the news sources and I have no confirmation on time. So, um, so yes, I've, I've set the news channels to record just in case I miss it. That's why I've not had a shower, because I don't want to miss anything. Although I think I'm going to have to just do it. Um, some people are saying noon, which is 12, 12 p.m. in the UK. Um, so, ah, I don't know. I don't know. When baby is coming, it's another great wait, which I don't know. Anyway, I want to plan my day, but I can't. So I'm just taking a bit of time out in the greenhouse, even though it's raining, and I'm going to try and relax, breathe. <sighs> breathe like Megan. <sighs> and then I'm gonna, I am going to just take the plunge and go and have a shower so that if baby comes, I am ready. <laughs> When I say baby comes, I mean obviously the photo call. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm excited. I want to see what baby looks like. Um, I want to hear if we get any information from Harry and Meghan about any further details. Um, but yes, I'm ready. I am ready. Well, I'm not ready. I need my shower. Uh, you watch. It will probably come. It will probably happen when I'm in the shower. Everything always happens when I'm in the shower. I don't know why. Does that happen to you? Does things always happen when you are predisposed? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy this, then I'm going to have a shower, have something to eat, and then eagerly await this photo call. So, I'll catch you later. Okay, so I am risking one more cup of tea in the garden under my umbrella, um, and then I'm going to go in and have a shower, um, have some breakfast, and wait patiently for the photo call to arrive. Um, I really am risking it now. Um, what time is it? It's about 10 past 11. So yes, let's, let's just get done. And we have a Brian. There we go. Hello, Brian. And Rory 
is in the pot down below. Can you see? Um, but, so yes, there's my trees look. Now, let's zoom out a bit. There's my trees and as you can clearly see, they are a little bit shorter than these two here. But I checked with Amazon, I didn't get it wrong. I ordered the correct size. So I just think these just must these just must be a smaller batch. <laughs> I don't know. Um they are just a little bit smaller, which I I admit I was slightly disappointed with when I got them, considering that I had the big ones to begin with. Um but I just keep if I think about it, if I received these ones first I would not have been disappointed. Um, they do fall within the category of um, of the height range that was given. Um, so yes, no, they are fine and they will grow. They will probably grow to the height of the ones that I've got before, um, you know, this season anyway. So, so yes, I'm not bothered. I'm over it. Okay, and um, Molly's snoring. Let's see if we can get a listen to Molly snoring. you hear her? She often snores. <laughs> Hello, and it is, what day are we on? Um, hello, and it is Friday, and I'm outside enjoying my morning cup of coffee. Where's my coffee? There's my coffee. Um, I'm under my umbrella because it's raining and horrible. Oh, I don't know, I didn't feel terribly good yesterday, I have to say. Um, I did post one, one video on the channel, but I didn't feel terribly well. I think I'm having post-baby blues. Yes, it's a bit of a come down <laughs> after all the excitement. Um, so today I want to take a little bit of time for myself. I, I haven't been to the gym all week. The gym has just gone completely askew. Um, like I say, with all the royal baby stuff, I haven't been able to plan my day, my days properly, um, just because we didn't know when things were gonna happen. So I had to put things off and one of the things I sacrificed was a little bit of me time. So I'm gonna go, I am going to go to the gym today and just catch up. I think I will probably just do like one big workout, um, like choose one exercise, choose one exercise per body part and just do that. Um, and then start again next week properly. Oh, the rain seems to have baited a little bit. I will stay under my brolly though. Um, so yes, it's been a bit of a weird week. I've, I've been having a bit of a headache, certainly yesterday, and to, this morning I've got a little bit of a headache. Um, so yes, I just need to take a little bit of time for me, I think, um, and then all will be okay. Let's have some coffee. Okay, we've just had a huge clap of thunder. Uh, you can still hear it rumbling in the background in the distance rather. Um, okay, so the rain has still baited a little bit. Um, but I'm, yes, I'm still under my brolly, as you can see. Um, so yes, this is the garden at the moment. And the border is still looking rather beautiful, I have to say. Um, I, I really love the mix of the orange and blue. I think that's a really, really good mix. And the roses are still coming up in between. And my roses in pots are doing very, very, very well. Look. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm wondering if I'm going to get another big clap of thunder. Let's let's stay under the brolly and see if we get another big clap of thunder. By the way, whilst we wait for the clap of thunder, let's have a look at my clematis. I mean, that is fully in flower now and looking rather gorgeous. And also the orange blossom is in flower too. And it smells delicious. Okay, so it's really, really going for it again now. But still no more thunder. And we now have hail. Can you see the hailstones on the patio? Look. Um, yeah, we're having all kinds of weather today. <laughs> My goodness, look at the hail. If I get closer, you can probably see better. But yes, there is actual hailstones. Um, wow. What weather. Uh, why am I even stood here? I quite like it, I suppose. Yeah, I think I quite like... I'm going to stand under the tree and see if it's any better. Let's go under the tree. Okay. Um, wow. Just look. Shall we have a little bit of um, umbrella and hail ASMR? I think I am gonna I think I'm gonna have to go in now. That is quite ferocious, look. Okay, so I went in the greenhouse. Um, my goodness, that is quite ferocious out there. All of the, the hail, the rain, we've had thunder. My goodness. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of not terribly nice out there right now. So I think I'm gonna go in. Um, have a shower, no, have some breakfast, have a shower, and then think about going to the gym. Yes, that is the plan of the day. Hello. Hello, Miss Molly. Um, shall we tell people about the bird? Um, by the way, Molly has got nothing to do with the bird, but, um, I didn't get to film anything, but I thought I'd just tell you the story about the bird. So, I went out to water my seeds and fill up my watering can. And right by my water butt, I found a bird on the floor. It was a baby bird, but it was a big, kind of big fat type bird. A big plump bird. I think it had fallen out of its nest, maybe in the bad weather that we've had today. Anyway, it was on the floor and it could not fly away or anything. So I was really, really worried about it. So I called Jason and Jason, we got one of the baskets out that Brian normally sits in one of those round ones that looks a bit like a nest and we put the bird in the nest we didn't really know what to do so we, we put the bird in the basket that was like a nest and we left it hoping that it would fly away it looked a bit shocked and stunned it was breathing quite heavy but we didn't really know what to do with it so we left it in there then about an hour later after Jason had gone to work I went out and it had flown off and um, there wasn't any trace of it on the floor so I don't think anything else got the bird but anyway um, I think it's flown away and hopefully I've saved a life or rather <laughs> Jason and I have saved a life. But it was nothing to do with the lovely Molly who is having a bit of a cuddle right now, aren't you? Are you being a bit fussy, Mrs? I think you are. Shall we show people our new candle? Yes. OK, so we have two new candles. We have a church candle, which is plain, which is non-scented. And we also have uh, this, which is a rose candle. Well, it says it smells like rose. No, peony, actually. Um, excuse me, it's coastal peony. And I would say it smells a bit more like Turkish delight. But anyway, it's delicious and it smells... Um, it smells delicious, I should say. I have not eaten candle. But yes, it's it just smells really, really lovely. Um, gorgeous. Hello, Rupert. Hello. How are you? How are you today, Mr Rupert? Hmm. And how your paw is much better, isn't it? It's at the back. We can't see. 
Thought to it in. He's a good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? There's a good boy. There you go. One happy Rupert. Hello, so it's Saturday and it is time to plant my hydrangea. Let's do a time lapse. Okay, so it is Saturday evening, just before um, I set up for my live chat, in fact. And I just wanted to show some of the things that I've done properly. So I planted this um, hydrangea in this beautiful pot here, which is actually a Kew Gardens pot, which I love. Um, the meadow is doing very, very well. As you can see, lots and lots of seedlings. I also planted these Sweet Williams, which I think are going to do very very well um, obviously they will all fill out and grow and over here in the pot we have my nemesias now these were actually looking a little bit sad in their containers because they'd become incredibly pot bound so I think I got them out at just the right time so I've fed them they've been watered with uh, with a general purpose feed and you know hopefully they will go on and do quite well now in the greenhouse um, tomorrow, in fact Sunday, I am going to be planting my grow bags. Um, so that means all the tomatoes and cucumbers, which I have here. And they've been here for a little while now. In fact, there are some little tomato flowers coming. So I am going to be uh, planting those in the grow bags over here. My seeds from the seed tray from last week are doing really, really well. So all in all, I think I'm, I'm getting there. Yes. Oh, hello, Rory. What are you doing? Are you scamping around? You're going to jump in the tree, aren't you? Is there bugs? Bugs or birds? I'm not sure which. Hello, and it is Sunday, the 12th of May. And I just wanted to show you the sky. I've just woken up and there is not a cloud in the sky. It's actually perfect plane spotting weather. Just look at the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. It is completely, completely clear. Um, you can hear the neighbour's children in the background <laughs> screaming. Um, yes, slightly annoying, I know. But anyway, uh, the garden's doing really well. The bluebells are still out and in force. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little um, update on the roses. They are, of course, um, going really, really well. So they're doing good. Um, yes, it's just looking, just looking very, very nice. And of course, just the sky. I just, it's just a really, really lovely blue sky, not a cloud in sight. Okay, so it is that time in the month where I do my Patreon monthly draw. Now, the prize for March, uh, the, the random drawing from my hat, I have my hat here, um, is actually for a replica Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, uh, engagement ring, the one with the three diamonds. So I will insert a picture um, probably now. Here it goes, picture. Okay, so you've just seen the stunning picture. Uh, or you're looking at the stunning picture, depending on how I edit the video. And um, so yes, um, just a little update on the aquamarine cocktail ring. I still haven't received it yet. 
it had to come all the way from Canada, I do believe it was. Um, so that it's still it it it's telling me that the delivery date is next week. So that will be posted out as soon as I get that. Um, so I'm going to have to do the same thing with this ring because it's from the same company. So as soon as I know who's won, I will or I will ask you for your ring size. So send me a message in Patreon, and of course I will order it for you in that size, which is why I do it that way. So then it'll take a couple of weeks to come to me, and then maybe a couple of weeks for me, obviously. And then once I've posted it out to you, however long it takes to get from the UK to your address. So that's the way we're gonna work it with that. But I think for next month's draw, well, so I think for the prize for April, which I will draw the first week in May, I think it's going to be another tiara. And I haven't decided which one, but I am going to choose another replica tiara which will be the prize so stay tuned of course I will I will let you know as soon as I've decided on on what the prize draw is going to be now this month we've had some new patrons so for those of you who don't know um, patreon is a website and there's an app and it's also a website um, you can choose either or and if you search for royal reviewer the link is also in the description of this video and if you want to support the channel beyond watching the videos then it might be something which you're interested in um, you don't have to it's fine uh, but for those of you uh, that are a member thank you so so much for supporting the channel it really does help now I have some new members to go in the hat so here's my hat with all the previous um, patrons in there so if you are a patron you get uh, a name in the hat and then obviously when I do a prize draw you get a chance of having your name drawn. So, we have some new names to go in. So I'm just gonna put my hat over here for a second whilst I welcome, um, I won't read out your full name, but um, Leslie is going in the hat. So let's fold up Leslie. Pop you in, Leslie. Um, we also welcome Heather. So Heather can go in the hat too. Pop you in. Um, we also have Barbie. Hello to you, Barbie. Not the doll, hopefully. Um, we also have, uh, we also welcome Adam. So welcome to you, Adam. In the hat you go. Um, we also have Stephanie. So welcome to you, Stephanie. You, you guys know who you are. Uh, and also Sherry. So we have some new patrons going in the hat. So you are now all in there with everyone else. So I'm gonna give you all a mix. Let's do a bit of a mix. Da, 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 da. Look, I'm mixing. I'm not doing anything dodgy with my hands. It's all fair and above board, people. Um, there we go. Right. It's mixed. Right. Now, let's see. Da, 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 da. And the winner is this one. Whatever this one is. Okay. Um, and the winner is... Da, 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 da. Tiffany Thornton. Tiffany Thornton, come on down. Sorry if I've shown your full name. Uh, well done, Tiffany. Um, Tiffany, get in touch with me. I'll, I will get in touch with you. I will send you a message on, on Patreon um, so that you can send me your ring size. So whatever, whatever finger you want to put uh, the engagement ring on, the replica engagement ring, do let me know. And of course, I will order it in in your size. So congratulations to Tiffany and welcome as well to all the other patrons. Um, but yes, just a big, big thank you to all the patrons supporting the channel. Thank you. And well done, Tiffany. Okay, so it is now finally time to plant my grow bags and get my tomatoes and cucumbers and the hanging basket all up. So come with me on a journey. <laughs> Let's take you down here. Where shall I put you? I'm gonna put you all down here, I think actually, uh, which might be better. Okay, so the very, very first job is to loosen the soil in the grow bags. So I kind of stand them up on ends and I bang them around and um, get all the soil loosened up. Then what I do is um, I get these. So these are my actual growing systems. So I use these, you don't have to. You can literally just plant the tomato plants and cucumbers uh, straight into the grow bag. You can cut a hole and just plant them in. But what I like to do is use these systems. They're kind of like a watering system and a feeding system. So once they're in the grow bag, uh, you, you water them by pouring the water into the tray. And there's kind of little, there's spikes. Can you see the spikes with little holes in? And then the water slowly drips into the grow bag 
and feeds the roots. You can also pour the water into the top uh, and you can also use the top bit to feed so you can uh, put your liquid fertiliser in the top bit where the plant comes through. Um, but they do require topping up with soil so I have some extra compost to top them up with. I put two to a grow bag, like one and then two, so that's why I've got three grow bags. So I'm going to do that. Um, by the way, I used a Sharpie marker to kind of draw around where they're going to go so that I get the hole right and, and then that's kind of it. So I'm just going to kind of set up the camera and you can, you can watch me work. I may do a few time lapses. So there you go. Anyway, this is me planting my tomatoes and cucumbers. Okay, so now all of the soil is all loosened up. I can now um, start to cut the grow bags and put my, my feeders in. Let's get the scissors um, and my Sharpie pen. So here's my Sharpie. Um, so literally all I do, can you see, is I just put, I put these on. Um, by the way, it's very, very hot in here. It's extremely hot in the greenhouse. I always pick for some reason the hottest day to do it. So these kind of just fit like this. Like I say, about two, about two to a grow bag is about right. Uh, grow bags, by the way, are really popular in the UK. I don't know whether you have them where you are. So I just kind of just, with the Sharpie, um, I just kind of make a mark, just kind of roughly, roughly how big I want the hole. Um, and then I kind of, I use the first one I cut out as a template so that I can get all the others. So that's kind of what I do to begin with. And then you, you just cut, um, cut into the hole uh, like this. And you kind of make a bit of a circle. I mean, I'm going to go a little bit within my own lines just in case I've gone a bit too big. Um, so you end up with with a hole, can you see, similar to that, um, which then you you just press very, very lightly this into. And obviously the, the spiky bits should go into the compost. So yeah, that's, that's perfect actually. Yeah, that is absolutely perfect. I have become an expert over the years. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that is one of them in. And then the other one goes in. Um, and then that's kind of it. So now I've got a template. So this then becomes a template, which I can just put there and I can, I can just put around. So, so there we go. It's very simple. It's a very simple system, but it works. So I'm very, very happy it works. There you go. So the template works and then you get another hole exactly the same put your thing in and then there you go so they're in and they're ready for planting so I'm going to do a time lapse now of me doing all the others because otherwise it's just really boring um, so I'll see you in a moment for the next day Okay, so I've now got them all in, and what I'm gonna do now is to top them up a little bit with soil before I plant the tomatoes and cucumbers. So I'll, I'll do another time lapse. Okay, so I'm now gonna put the tomatoes in the in the right place and the cucumbers. So I think I'm going to put those varieties there um, and I'm going to put the cucumbers in here. So these will be, these will be the cucumbers 
once I've done them completely. Um, so there we go. So I'm going to start with, can you see? I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with this one, which is just a regular cucumber plant and it's cute. It's type female F1. So there we go. Female F1. You can go in here. So they are of course well watered. So they should just come out of the pots really, really well. I mean, just dig a little bit of a hole, pop them in. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. They, they are in. Um, and obviously water them. Uh, now I always put the little tag, a little label in with them so that I know what they are. And if I really like them for next year, I can get some more. This is a cucumber mini from the premium section. It's called HANA F1 or HANA, H-A-N-A, whatever. Um, it's going in. So um, let's get the plant out first, actually. It might be easier. So just pop the plant out and obviously make a little hole, pop it in and obviously put in with the rest of the soil. Later on, so I'll, I'll probably leave these in here a week or two um, and then when they start to really grow I will add canes for support but at the moment they're okay. Um, I mean I may just top up with a little bit of soil on the top as well after but at the minute they're okay I'm I'm quite happy with those I know you can't really see me very well but I'm gonna just if I up the camera a bit you'll be able to see me as I go further along um, so this is the final cucumber it is a snack cucumber called tiny tot and it's classed as a patio variety so let's pop you in here again make you a hole again I'm not wearing gloves I like to feel the plants and the soil I know it makes a mess with your hands but whatever. It's gardening, it's supposed to be messy. Uh, this tomato is red alert. So, um, so be alert. <laughs> I'm, I'm on alert for red alert. Let's pop you in there, Mr. Red Alert. And we'll put your little label at the side as well. So you can go in right there. I'm hoping you can still see me from the camera. Uh, this one is money maker. We like a bit of money. Let's get your money maker out. Let's pop you in, Mr. Money Maker. You can go right in, right in there. Put that in. And the final one is Shirley. Not Shirley Valentine. Tomato Shirley. So again, make a little hole. Pop you in, and there we go. So you are in. So all of the plants are now in. How lovely. And of course I will sweep the floor and tidy up the mess I've made. Now, I did forget to take these labels out, didn't I? So, uh, Tiny Tot and Hannah. So that was Hannah, and this was Tiny Tot. So they can go in there. Um, I mean, you can recycle your pots. There is a big thing now about plastic in gardening. And there are some recyclable pots that are, I think they're grey, but a lot of recycle companies aren't recognising them as recyclable. Um, so I think it's best, the best way to recycle these pots at the moment is to keep them and reuse them. And then when they are, um, when, when you can recycle these or even if you can take them to somewhere where they get incinerated and turned into fuel, whatever, it's best just to reuse them up until that point. So I'm gonna keep these and reuse them for something that I can pot on later. Okay, so I've just topped them up with soil and it's now time for watering. So let's go and, and get some water. Okay, there we go. That was too much stanky leg. 
Um, but anyway, let's let's do some watering now. So let's. Ah, you can see that's good. I like the fact you can see. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, water like that, and of course the water will help to compress. Now tomatoes and cucumbers are very, very thirsty plants. So they will need watering every day, and on a hot day, sometimes twice. Um, they should never, ever, ever, ever get dry. There we go, that's just watering them in, making sure that they are all watered nicely. And of course, some of the water will you know, compress some of the soil. Um, there we go. So that is what they want, a nice drink. And I'm gonna put the rest on my seeds. Okay, um, now it is time to put my Tumbling Tom variety in one of the hanging baskets. So what I usually do is put them in the hanging basket. The, yeah, this is the one, this is the one that Brian has been sleeping in and using as a nest all winter. So um, it's time, Brian, to say goodbye to your basket. Um, but to be perfectly honest, he's been spending less and less time in the greenhouse since it's been hot because it can get really baking in here. Um, so, you know, he can still come in, that's fine. But hey, I think it's more of a winter retreat for Brian. So let's, let's fill up the basket. Oh, by the way, I'm using just uh, one of these kind of rush liners. You can use moss. I have used natural moss in the past, but it can be quite, um, quite messy and hey, these are just really easy, these ready store-bought liners. So that's what I'm gonna use for my tumbling tom. So I need some soil. So let's get another bag of compost. There we go. Another bag of plants. This is what I've been using for my outdoor plants as well. So I just need to cut this and get into it. Where have I put my scissors? I do not know. Scissors, where have we gone? And I know, they're okay. here. That's fine. I remember where I put them. That is fine. Uh, so yeah, they just go in here and Three tomato plants are adequate for in here. So basically you just, oh, I need a liner. Yes, before I forget, what you should always do in these is put a liner, some kind of plastic. You can use a plastic bag. What I like to do is use the bags of soil because they're, they're just really, really sturdy. So what you do is just basically cut a circle and the circle becomes a liner. To help retain the moisture in the soil so it just stops it from drip from dripping all the way through so what you do is just cut cut a circle i mean you can use a dinner plate a big dinner plate but i'm kind of i've got to the point where i can almost gauge what i need and then i can just trim it up if i need to so you just kind of cut a big circle and then once, and then kind of see how it fits for size. So that's kind of what I do. So you end up with like a circle like that, and then you just literally push it in. And then it makes it makes a liner inside, so you just move it out, and then you obviously put the soil in that. And then you can trim off the edges if you want to later. So that's what I do. So let's now. Again, I'm using my hands, I know I'm naughty, but there you go. It, it just goes in really, really easily. If you make a mess, you can always sweep up after, that is normal. So there we go. That, and it just really does help with the moisture retention, and you just smooth it out like that. Um, there we go, see? See how it's, see how it's kind of just like that? In fact, I should put the camera down, shouldn't I? Uh, I forgot to put the camera down, I'm so sorry. Um, so you just put it in like that and just keep moving. And then the tomato plants will really thank you for the extra moisture. Uh, now I like to obviously get as much soil as you can in because 
the roots do go quite big. So again, just make sure it's kind of all pushed out to the sides. Now, as I say, I've got a little bit of overlap there, so you don't want that sticking up. So you just get your scissors and give it a trim. And that's literally all you do, just so it, it looks nice. Uh, there you go. And there you go, if you can't see a thing, that is fine. And then maybe another one for look. I mean, just to get it so it's nice and level, I think. Um, there you go, so that's that's about right. Now it's time to plan for the Tumbling Tom. Now, Tumbling Tom is my favorite trailing, hanging basket tomato. I just love them, they're small, they're sweet. They tend to ripen really early. I'm hoping you can see, because I can't see a thing. Um, it's too sunny. So yes, three in a basket about this size is about right. Um, but yes, this is a really lovely variety. And you can see that they are definitely ready for planting. You can tell by the roots. So kind of to make a hole, insert it in. I would have it slightly leaning towards the outside. So if it has a natural lean, I would just go with that. Um, again, like I say, that's probably more towards the natural lean. So just kind of space them out into like, you know, a reasonable triangle type, type configuration. And that should work. So again, like I say, three is perfect in a pot. So yeah, more towards this angle. Uh, make sure obviously you're planting like inside of the, of the plastic. Otherwise it's not going to work. So yeah, that just goes in. And then, there you go. Just make sure all the roots are in. And there you have it, a hanging basket. It's already made up. Now, all I need to do now, in fact, probably what I will do initially is leave it on the ground and not hang it straight away. So I'll probably just put it here and give it a water. And then in maybe a week or so, I will hang it up. So there you go. And then just put the little, you can put the little tag in. And again, you know, endeavour to recycle and reuse the plastic. So now all that's left to do is to give them a bit of a water. So let's give them a nice water. Again, give them a really good soaking for the first water. And don't let them dry out. So there you go. And the plastic should help to retain the moisture. So there we go, I'm just going to give them a really good drink. And there we have it, all planted. Okay, so I'm now going to do plant my sweet peas. So I will do a time lapse of those because this video is getting way too long. Um, I'm on the gimbal by the way using the microphone so the sound might sound a little bit better um, but yes we have let me show you what I've done so I've moved that pot which was here is now there so in its place we have another one of my tall cypresses I do believe it's, it's a cypress um, so yes that now looks quite nice and will add some height to the corner which is what I wanted um, and it matches of course the other two so we have, I showed you my sweet williams being planted yesterday. Uh, we now have the other cypress tree, which is there, which again, if you look from this perspective, which is what I wanted, it now looks a bit like a diamond shape with, with the four cypresses, which adds some nice height. I've done my sweet peas, as you saw in the time lapse. So they're all done and hopefully they will grow up the cane. We have Molly on the wood. Um, I've done an extra sweet pea pot for my mother, um, but she's going on holiday tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave it down here and then move it to the patio when she's back. We have obviously all of the tomatoes and the hanging baskets all done. So all in all, um, we are done for planting for now. 
Okay, so thank you. I'm going to close out the vlog now. I have no idea how long this vlog ended being up. I have no idea what I kept, what I cut, what I sped up, whatever. Anyway, thank you for joining me for the premiere and thank you for watching on Catch Up. If you have enjoyed this week's weekly vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And also, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. So until next week, from me in Shropshire, mwah, to you all, and goodbye. I need to go wash my dirty fingers.